Now, they were always, everybody thought, and if you could take a look at what they were doing, you could tell their, Lester Holt, you, I don't need an email to know that what he was doing was totally biased. I, I don't need that. Chris Wallace did pretty good compared to the other guys. My God, he was right down the middle. Yeah. Uh, but um, but he was pretty good, pretty fair. Uh, continuing on this segment. <clears throat> With an interview with uh, Jim C Jim Sinclair, who's interviewing um, Bill Holter. And Greg Hunter. Uh, on, I guess there's some sort of radio program or YouTube program or something. Uh, so, I'm just, uh, compliments of BrassCheckTV.com, by the way. They put some good stuff up. And, uh, I listen to them as often as I can. BrassCheckTV.com. Check it out. They've got this program that I'm excerpting here for you. It's an hour long. I'm not going to be playing the whole thing for you. You can go to YouTube. It's there. And look it up. And, uh, listen to the whole hour Probably interesting. I'm guessing. Yeah. So here we go. I'm going to play some more. A little bit more. Because you brought up relevant stuff. That should have been brought up. I mean, this the Hillary Clinton, let me tell you this. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing uh, Lawrence Kolokoff. Uh, or he's running for president as a write-in candidate, supposedly. And you know, he came up with this, oh, well, you know, Donald Trump, is he's unhinged. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now it's been laid bare that the Project Veritas and the, the supporters are a, a reflection of Trump, that they were sending uh, homeless people in some cases and and mentally ill people, and they were sending people. They were they were committing violence. Cops got hurt. People got hurt. They're committing violence at rally. Look at the Chicago, Chicago thing. They shut it down. Now we find out how they did it on camera by the people that were heading it up who have resigned. The other guy, and one of them is a guy by the name of um, Creamer. Robert Creamer. He's talking about voter fraud. Another guy uh, you know, is uh, Scott Fovel. He's talking about... Uh, about the protesters and about the violence to make it out, That's, which is why Hillary Clinton uh, talked about, you know, Donald Trump's voters are deplorable. Well, here we have uh, who uh, the guy, uh, Fogel, is saying, well, you know, the, 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 oh, the Clinton campaign pays the DNC, because the DNC uh, isn't like the money-raising arm of the Clinton campaign, and then they pay somebody else, they pay somebody else. This is, right. this is a felony... Uh, felony oh, incitement of violence. This is, uh, this is just so many laws broken here, it's not even funny. And there's and, no FBI. And no FBI, the no FBI. Justice Department. Of course, they're busy, you know, destroying the computers of people, the Justice Department, the FBI, destroying the computers of people, the Justice Department, have given immunity because they have no intention of ever prosecuting any cases. And so, uh, you know, this is this false narrative they painted with, uh, you know, with uh, Trump and his supporters. And, uh, you know, listen, I'm not even, uh, you know, I am not a Democrat or a Republican, but listen, this is over-the-top fraud and nobody uh, and, and wrongdoing and dirty tricks and uh, felony uh, law-breaking and the mainstream press isn't going to cover it? You're kidding. Well, it's banana yeah. republic stuff. I mean, it's like waving a flag. We are now a banana republic. If the Republicans did this, don't you know ABC, NBC, CBS, New York Times, Wall Street, uh, <gasps> I can't believe they hired people to commit violence against Hillary Clinton. Right. Can you imagine? Just put in Republican. It's, it's off the charts. Yes. And it, it shows me their... The reason why they've been laid bare is two reasons. Reason number one, WikiLeaks. Thank you, WikiLeaks. Reason number two, they're desperate. They're over the top desperate. They know they're losing. I think they're losing big. I, I, yes. I think they're losing times. big. I think they're, they're losing by 25, 30 points. And I'll tell you why they are. I just had somebody folks. write me an email, and it said, uh, Greg, thank you for providing an alternative news source counterpoint to the pablum spews from the MSN. And by the way, I'm a former Bernie supporter that now supports Trump. Right. Uh, if only to try to shake up the crony capitalist system we've been dealt. How are this, for number one, I think Bernie Sanders won, despite the fact that that it's been now late that the DNC chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the Democratic National Committee chair, she lost her job. She stepped down. Of course, Clinton hired her. <laughs> no collusion there. Uh, then, uh, and they take, and then the DNC and the Clinton campaign colluded with the press to, uh, help her and, and to take away not only Bernie, but O'Malley and everybody else. 
uh, and basically screwed him out of the decision. I had people at anecdotally calling me, uh, emailing me, uh, actually calling me too, and saying that they lived in California and they thought California was stolen by the Democrats for Hillary. That they had all kinds of, of uh, uh, you know, things that were not the normal thing you see on on the primary day, and uh, you know, a bunch of uh, shenanigans were going on, and that uh, they thought that they stole California for Hillary. This is what people said, and they gave some information about it. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know one thing's true, and that they rigged the system against Bernie Sanders. That's laid out by the the WikiLeaks emails. The head of the DNC lost her job. Okay. That is a fact. That's not my conspiracy right. theory. That's a conspiracy fact. How do you So, you just heard that, right? This guy knows what those people did. And Hillary and her people did commit a crime. Right there. By you know trying to sabotage uh, Bernie Sanders' Campaign in, in 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 the Democratic Republic, Democratic Party. I mean, committed fraud. It is a freaking felony. They did it, and that people admit it. Yeah, we did it. <clears throat> you know, and sending and sending you know homeless people and mentally ill people over to the to the to the Trump rallies to cause violence. That's a crime. And I've seen that video that where they actually said, yeah, we did that. You know what I'm saying? There is video of the man confessing to committing a crime. And that's one of the reasons I played this. I wanted, I wanted to get that in there because that's just... I mean, that's a crime. Come on. And then some poor schnook, as um, some 25-year-old guy, finds himself a girlfriend that's like 17, and you know I like her, and she's nice, and she's beautiful, and and we love each other, and I'm gonna fuck her, and then he fucks her, and then he goes to prison as a child molester because she's like 17, and like that's not a child, but you know, that's because the fucking government and the laws in this country are fucking insane. <clears throat> But a real crime confessed on freaking live freaking internet shit and oh well we're not going to prosecute that uh, we're not even going to talk about it <sighs> you understand why I am so fucking frustrated I try to be civilized and, and civil and, and be cool and, and just tell you stuff and say stuff it's like really cool and it's, got, it's a monologue I can do that and I try to be somewhat civilized and calm but some things are just so obvious I mean obvious to the point of you've got to be you know fucking coma not to comprehend what this is what's going on and how many Americans are like I don't care and you don't even hear it don't even listen because you know obviously I get Brass check TV and I hear stuff. And, uh, you know, I do my homework. I study things. And I research stuff a little bit. A little bit. And I hear stuff and I have some. Okay, show me the proof. Well, here's the guy on a fucking video, which may have been recorded without his knowledge, but he's admitting and confessing to a fucking felony. And who's he working for? Hillary Clinton. Uh, excuse me? Why isn't this guy in the jail right now? Why isn't he being charged with freaking felony? And there's like, I can't even tell you how many laws he broke. Like the guy said, there's just so many laws broken. You know, it's just, you can't even count them all. By whom? By whom? Hillary Clinton and the Hillary Clinton campaign and those mm, disgusting slime bags. Committed a felony. Man confessed to it. So he basically said, yes, we committed a crime, and Hillary Clinton put us up to it. Uh, or the Democratic National Convention, which is run and controlled by Hillary, probably. Right? Yeah? You don't think? I think. I know. Whatever. So, it's a felony, and nobody's going to jail. Nobody's getting arrested. Nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. All right, what? And 48 million people still vote for the bitch. I mean, that's just insane. 
I'm living in an insane asylum. I mean, that's not even... I'm not even talking metaphor here. I'm talking really. This is a, a very large, insane asylum. And apparently 48 million people, among others, are fucking insane. Yeah, I don't want to, I'm not saying that the 51 million people that voted for Donald Trump are sane, rational people either. Because I was listening. I mean, I heard Donald Trump say, yeah, I want to increase the military budget and, you know, make them, the United States military like the biggest, baddest ass motherfucking terrorist organization on the planet. Yeah. Well, that's not exactly the words he used, but, you know, duh. I understand English. And he did say something to the effect of big, bad, baddest military on the planet and scare the shit out of everybody else in the country, in the world. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, that's just scary. Uh, and if he does that, it's crime. Though it's not as obvious a crime because, you know, the military budget is like about ten times more than it should be in the first place doesn't have to be that big. I'm sorry. For one thing, you can close all the military bases around the world and bring those people home and not have to pay that anymore. You know, taxpayers' money are paying for military bases in freaking off the, like, 70 miles off the border of Russia. Uh, or something. And, you know, how are you gonna... I'm telling you, just bring the freaking people home and just stop that bullshit. It's crime. It's a crime to invade foreign countries like Iran and Iraq and Saudi Arabia and, well, yeah, well, let's not talk about Saudi Arabia, those buttheads. <sighs> Evil monsters. Uh, supporters of terrorism, which is, hmm, supposed to be our enemy and they're supposed to be our friend and they're supporting terrorism against us. Like, oh yeah, they're, they're my friend. Yeah, I, I, you know, I've had friends in my life individual people that were my friends supposedly, they said they were or whatever and like, and then I find out they're doing some very unfriendly things behind my back that are, that's causing me very uncomfortable things to happen to me and very uncomfortable circumstances and you know, kind of pissed me off and what did I do? I mean, you know, I didn't just ignore it, I confronted them and I said you're lying about me behind my back you prick go fuck yourself and worse to that effect. Because I'm not going to let you be my friend if you're going to do that. If you're going to commit crimes, uh, then I'm not going to condone that. If, if you're going to commit a fraud, a felony, like Hillary and her gang of criminals and psychopaths, uh, then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to prosecute the, these people that lie about me and slander me and so on uh, as, as best I can, which in this case is just, I'm not going to be your friend anymore. You're going to go fuck yourself and drop dead and eat shit. I mean, I don't give a shit. Just go. I'm done with you. <clears throat> That's not to say that I won't continue saying stuff about you. I mean, if you lied about me and slandered me and committed libel against me, uh, I'm going to keep talking about you, but you're not going to talk to me because I won't let you talk to me because you're like a non-person. And I will continue to tell the world what a fucking asshole you are and that you probably should, you know, kill yourself. I've had people that absolute insane maniacs, you, you know, calling me names, insinuating this, insinuating that, and sabotaging me in one way or another, uh, committing felonies. And, you know, how often can does a man say, how often do you hear civilians like me and yourself uh, say things like uh, 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 I'm going to not bring charges against the person that tried to kill me. Um, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to talk about those criminals. It's just unbelievable. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad that Trump beat Hillary to death. I mean, should just. I hope she now. I hope she dies now. Really. I hope she just dies for her crimes against humanity. Really. I don't. The really cow just dies. Be gone. 
you know, I don't even want her to retire and go live in her freaking estate somewhere and just continue being who she is. I mean, that'll be like, that's, that's just wrong, you know? It's like allowing George Bush to just go ahead and live and you know, guilty of murdering a million people. Directly and indirectly. Well, not directly, because he didn't pull a gun himself, I suppose. He didn't, you know, drop a bomb on anybody personally, but he hired the hitman to do it, and he's guilty of that. You know, that's a felony. It's, that's it gets you the death penalty for mass murder. For crying out loud. But these guys, oh yeah, let's let's commit crime, fraud, felonies against you know Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump. Um, didn't work, did it, fellas? He still run. He's still president. Well, gonna be when he's inaugurated next January. So you know what I'm saying? It's unbelievable. I mean, I assure you that if if somebody that was my buddy living in the same house or same neighborhood as me, and they were committing crimes against me, like acts of terrorism, you know, like setting fire to my house or shooting my dog or, or robbing me blind or you know bursting into my house in the middle of the night and raping my wife or something. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, but you know you do that, you're gonna die. Trust me. You know. If I got two seconds, I'm gonna grab the gun and you're gonna die, motherfucker. If you kick into my house and try to rape my wife. You won't even get in the bedroom. Trust me. You won't get past the door threshold. You'll be like blood on my floor. You won't be dead, maybe. I might not kill you. I might just, you know, bam, put a bullet in your leg or something. You know, I'm not going to just, oh, I'll just ignore the fact that, you know, my best friend, you know, committed a fraud or a crime, felony against me. I just wouldn't overlook that. I wouldn't let that just go pass. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't. Because I'm not insane. I mean, you know, if, if the United States government, in the form of Hillary and Obama and uh, some other assholes, you know, sent some thug murdering bastards in a helicopter over to freaking Pakistan, landed in the guy's yard and burst in his house in the middle of the night, shot him in the face. Um, but one thing, I had a report from a guy who's like lives across the street from supposedly Osama's Bin Laden's compound, and he said uh, that didn't happen. I was there, and I looked across the street, and it didn't happen. A lot of times, you hear about witnesses to witness something, and then they just disappear, or they become really, really quiet for some reason. Hmm. Do you think because they were telling the truth, and Hillary had them killed? Or whatever. It's insane, really. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you? It's in fucking insane. If you don't get that, you're fucking insane. Or retarded, or in a coma, or something. You know, I think everybody in this country should be listening to my podcast. Really, I really do. Because I say important shit. Stuff you need to know. You need to wake up and pay attention. And, you know, understand English. Know what words mean, for example. You know, stop using things like law enforcement, which is not a free country thing. It's That's Gestapo shit. Uh, don't be calling people pedophiles and, and stuff like that. That's, you don't even know what the word pedophile means. It doesn't mean what you think it means. It's never meant that. It never will mean that. Because words mean what they mean. Period. Case closed. Not open for discussion. Pedophile. Under 12 prepubescent person is, you know, the uh, sexual attract. If you're sexually attracted to a child who is a biological entity and stage of human development under, before adolescence, and pubescence. Pubescence. 
So uh, if you use the word pedophile, and you know most people that use it don't use it correctly because they don't know what it means, and they just say it as if it's true, and it's not, and it doesn't mean that, and you just, those people are idiots and illiterate fools. And it frustrates me, yeah, and it makes me angry because uh, you're an idiot. Stop doing that. Don't use that word incorrectly anymore because I said so. Oh, you're being a dictator and a bully. Uh, no, not really, because I'm not actually going to come to your house and kill you if you use it incorrectly. In fact, I'm not going to even call the cops on you because you committed a crime. Uh, you know, lying and defamation of character is a civil crime, by the way. Uh, I can sue you, and um, I'm going to because I'd be in court like 24 hours a day for seven days a week for the next thousand years. Because that's how many cases of fucking libel go on in this country. And against me, you know, I'd be in court for years litigating with these bastards for slandering and libel and defaming me. And calling me, oh, you're a pedophile. And I'm not. Because I know what the definition of the word is. And it's not teenagers. Teenagers are not counted in that. I mean, occasionally now they've got some like a, 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 a 90 year old is like charged with committing a felony against uh, you know, a 17 year old or 15 year old or whatever because, oh, they just talk to the person. Talking in this country is a felony. I mean, if you're talk, if you're like over the age of 18 and you're talking to a 15-year-old girl about anything, they can twist that around and they say you you were talking to her and you're not allowed to talk to her because you're all, all a grown-up and you're a pedophile. Which of course you're not. You're not because that's not what the word means. But they say it, and everybody in America is pretty much. I don't know how much percentage is. I'm thinking 70, 80 percent, 90 percent, maybe. They think the word pedophile means someone that's 17 years old. I mean, the, the, and then they use the word victim, which of course is bullshit. Because uh, I didn't. I'm not a victim. I actually said, "Fuck me, baby," and uh, it's, it's just insane. And it just keeps going on and on and on. Nobody's doing anything about it. That's what frustrates me. It's like, I feel like I'm a Jew, and all of the Jews in my country are being arrested, deported, put in concentration camps, and murdered. <clears throat> and I might be next. So that's the part that scares me. I might be next. I'm not Jewish, but, you know, it's the same fear. It's the same paranoia, because, you know, my neighbors are disappearing, and they're just dying and being killed and found up in the ditch and wound up in prison because uh, what'd you do? Uh, nothing. I was just talking to a girl. What were you talking about? That's irrelevant. Free speech. Freedom to associate with anyone. Anyone. Now, the, the only thing that's relevant to, to that that might be a little bit out of, out of whack is that if you're talking to a 15 year old girl and you're 22 or 68 or whatever <clears throat> you know what I'm saying and you're talking to a 15 year old girl and saying uh, you got nice tits that's a compliment uh, suppose you're a 52 year old man and you're talking to a 14 year old girl on the internet and you're saying you're nice and I think you know you're pretty and you're kind of smart and you know I'd like to fuck you what do you think uh, that's not a crime, but it's a felony. I mean, it's not a real crime. It's just they made it up. Oh, that's a crime. You know, you're soliciting a minor via the internet. Like, uh, bullshit. I'm sure that soliciting is not the right word here. It's not like I was offering to pay her money to fuck me. You know, prostitution. Which isn't a crime either, by the way. I know you think, oh, yeah, it's a crime. Uh, it's not a real crime. It's a uh, it's a fabricated, arbitrary, made-up crime. Because people are allowed to do that. You're allowed to seduce. And you're allowed to solicit. Because that's not the government's business. And I'm pretty sure that the law says, uh, no, you can't infringe on that. You can't violate that right. 
and it is your right and that's not debatable because it is because it just is it just absolutely is a natural human right and they get oh, I'll argue with you I don't see it that way you know what if you don't see it that way then you don't see it at all you're blind in the brain brain dead I've just insulted like what 50 60 million people Unfortunately, they won't hear this because they got better things to do, like, you know, stupid shit. Insane things. So, uh, alright, let me let me see if I can get some more of this, uh, this video on YouTube brought to you by BreastCheckTV.com through me, of course, in this case. And I'm just playing some excerpts. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out and I'll get back to you in a second. One, WikiLeaks. Thank you, WikiLeaks. Reason number two, they're desperate. They're over the top desperate. They know they're losing. I think they're losing big. I, 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 I think they're, they're losing times. big. I think they're, they're losing by 25, 30 points. Yeah, I'll tell you why they are. Bernie I just Bernie had somebody votes. write me an email, and it said, uh, Greg, thank you for providing an alternative news source counterpoint to the pablum spews from the MSM. And by the way... I'm a former Bernie supporter that now supports Trump. Right. Uh, if only to try to shake up the crony capitalist system we've been dealt. How are this, for number one, I think Bernie Sanders won, despite the fact that it's been now late that the DNC chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the Democratic National Committee chair, Listen. she lost her job. She stepped down. Listen course, to this. Clinton hired her. <laughs> no collusion there. Uh, then uh, and they take and then the DNC and the Clinton campaign colluded with the press to uh, help her and and to take away from not only Bernie but O'Malley and everybody else uh, and basically screwed him out of the decision. I had people at, anecdotally calling me, uh, emailing me, uh, or actually calling me too, and saying that they lived in California and they thought California was stolen by the Democrats for Hillary that they had. All right. Hold on, I'm going to find, skip ahead on this. Then her, All right, how continue. did she win? Not just through that metric alone. Oh, women are voting for, for, for Hillary way more than that. How, well, you lost half of your voters. You cheated and defrauded and punked people that stood in the rain that went to that collected money and all of his donations were like twenty five bucks. I think the average donation was something like twenty twenty five dollars, twenty two dollars, something you know low. You're telling me that these people are going to go? Oh, you cheated us! Oh, okay. For a year and a half of this going on, that thinking that they had a shot at this and they should have in, a, in an unrigged system. I think Sanders would have been the DNC candidate. I don't agree with a lot of his policies, but I. I do agree with about the you know Wall Street and the trade thing, which is destructive, which is just like Trump says. Uh, but I will tell you that uh, you how do I get those people? Uh, come on, this isn't the real world here. No way. This is, and this is, I just read you something that came in today, unsolicited. And this is uh, I hear this over and over again on my site. I'm a I'm a former Bernie supporter, and I'm not voting for Hillary. Either they vote for Stein or Trump or you know whoever. Yeah, Trump's the guy that's going to win. Stein and Gary Johnson don't have a chance of winning. But Trump has a chance of winning, and you you know he's not. He's hated by the Republicans. He's hated. Anyway, but the, but I think that, that the press is desperate, and they are they are, And I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't shareholder lawsuits against these organizations. Which you know, I actually saw the New York Times covering the uh, the uh, uh, Project Veritas uh, videos. Uh, I actually saw because it's you know way late. Uh, but I actually saw a story on that. I couldn't believe it. I think they're trying to protect their their uh, reputation, which is horrible. Well, it doesn't make any difference in the in the court of public opinion. They're getting creamed. You know, they didn't put any of this stuff. They put all this Donald Trump stuff up, which has been largely proven false. And you know, stuff from twenty five years. He touched me twenty five years ago. Oh my God! <laughs> he touched twenty five years ago. Three weeks ago, he touched me. Now, anyway, hey, Craig. The interesting thing. Uh, about these the WikiLeaks emails is that to this point, none of them have been denied. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Have not you are denied, correct, sir. They have not said they were made up. They've not said anything. The only thing they're saying is that they were stolen.
by the Russians, and that's illegal. And actually, CNN was trying, I think on Thursday, they put out, uh, you can't read WikiLeaks because it's illegal. It's that's illegal to read it. Total lie. You can't steal it. If you're the one trying to steal it, yes, that is, you shouldn't be stealing it. Right, yes, you're right. But if it comes out in the public domain, <laughs> it's like the Pentagon Papers. That's like, you know what that's like? That's like, that's like Chris, I think it's Quick Cuomo that said that. That's like saying, hey, the Pentagon's papers were stolen, which is, this is a case against, uh, you know, uh, uh, the New York Times, right? Which exposed a lot of terrible details about the Vietnam War, which is in part would help has come to an end. Uh, but uh, the uh, Pentagon, it's like saying, well, the Pentagon papers were stolen, which is what the government said, and said you can't release them, and they did anyway. That's like saying after they're released by the New York Times, uh, back of, that's like saying, oh, you can't read them. They, they, they were stolen. <laughs> come on. It's outrageous. I mean, it's, there's no journalism here. It's propaganda. And I, they're going to leave. If they don't have actual shareholder lawsuits against them, here's the other thing that, you know, this WikiLeaks, you know, millennials, they're going to go online and search for WikiLeaks. And the search for WikiLeaks and these emails are off the charts. And the search for Donald Trump online is like nil. The search for these WikiLeaks, and who are the voters that are searching online? It's people like are 60 and 70 and 80 years old. And no, these are 20 somethings. And these are the Bernie voters. They're, they're right. seeing this in full, you know, they're they're getting they're getting they're not getting their their news from David Muir or from George Stephanopoulos or or from you know Lester. Oh, they're not getting their whole news from those people. Well, you got to say at this point, the, I mean, the ultimate journalist is Julian Assange. I I would say yes. I hope they don't try to kill him. And it it looks like that's uh, what was it yesterday? There were reports of you know heavily armed troops outside of the embassy. Well, if they go in there, they're committing an act of war against Ecuador. So that'd be an act of war. That's 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 the same as you know what happened when you know in Iran in the late seventies. You know they basically went into America in well, that embassy. The next two weeks are extremely dangerous. I go, yes. I mean, we had the yesterday. Uh, we had internet outages all over the country. Now, whether that's a test to take it down. Um, how do you stop the WikiLeaks stuff from being read? You shut the internet down. Well, at this point, the damage is so so bad. But I, I yeah, think but that the Greg, internal polling. It's my opinion, and maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. But my opinion is this has only been hors d'oeuvres. The main the main course is going to be served over the next couple of weeks. I, I think you're right. I, I, yeah, I, would, it, I would agree with that. Too. It's a cumulative. And it's also a cumulative. I mean, it's just a cumulative. I mean, it's 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 awful. And the, you know, I mean, as all these young people who want to be these idealistic Democrats, which I guess at one time maybe it was, but it's completely fraudulent, lying institution that does dirty tricks. And, and, and Republicans have done dirty tricks too. Now, you know, Republicans have done oh, things. Absolutely, but you know, they've done. But the this is idealism at this point. This is off the charts. I mean. This is, uh, and it, the thing is, is that it's a combination of the WikiLeaks being released, and also the massive panic. Because listen, Hillary Clinton committed fraud. I'm, I'm going to just as simply lay it out, and I say this a lot. And I want to just boil this down. They talk about her, her servers, you know, her servers. Let, let me boil this down. See, it's pretty simple. She had multiple servers. That's multiple servers, plural, multiple servers to hide the fact she was taking treasonous bribes from foreign countries in the form of donations to her global charity fraud, the Clinton Foundation. She did not act alone. I mean, you know, even Rupert Murdoch is, a, is donated to the Clinton Foundation. Uh, you know, did he get something out of it? I don't know. Uh, but listen, the, 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 whole, the whole bribe thing, the whole pay-to-play, the whole criminality, the whole FBI destroying uh, the laptops of two of the key people they gave immunity to, the Justice Department, then they destroyed the laptops. James Comey looks like a complete and total weasel, but yet said in Congress, please don't call us weasels, quote, unquote, please don't call us weasels. We got it wrong. No, you didn't get it wrong. You did it on you, purpose. You meant to get it wrong. Right. And we have a lawless government. We have the State Department colluding with the Clinton, Clinton camp, the Clinton, um, the Clinton uh, 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 campaign. 
Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's completely fraudulent. And when Donald Trump said, I'm going to appoint a special prosecutor in number two, the number two uh, debate, and then said, and she said, well, oh, yeah, you'd have to be in t- car charge of our, our of our legal system. Said, yeah, you, you don't want me in charge because you'd be in jail. Exactly. She ain't the only one's going to jail. And so you have a fevered pitch of, of panic that this has been all laid bare. You know, the, when, they, when they, they said, oh, it's the election process and, and, you know, the elections are rigged and all the people went, oh, well, that's kind of a conspiracy theory. Well, no, not so much. Right? Oh, the, the left wing media is really totally biased. Well, you got it in their own words in black and white, giving, you know, editorial uh, control away to the Clinton camp and to Hillary Clinton. And the DNC, you know, giving the questions out ahead of time, and you know, CNN and these fake polls, you know, where they oversample Democrats to make it look like Clinton won, and and I don't believe any of the polling, incidentally, I don't believe any of it. Not I think it's close. No, I I think a lot of people are telling the pollsters, oh, I'm going to vote for Hillary, and they're. And I think a lot of African Americans are going to vote for Donald Trump a lot more than and what anybody would imagine, because you know, it's. People, I always say this, people know the truth when they hear it. And then him saying, you know, your neighborhoods are terrible, your schools are declining, they've been telling you for 50 years they're going to help you, and, and at the end of this election they're going to pat you on the head and say, thanks for the vote, see you later, suckers. So what do you have to lose, says Donald Trump. And that is... And uh, I, I, well, I'm playing more of this show than I expected, but this is, uh, I'll uh, say it again here, this is brought to you by, compliments of, BrassCheckTV.com, a very very good website and uh, blog or vlog or whatever um, and they talk about some pretty interesting cool truth and stuff but this is from uh, Jim Sinclair's Mindset uh, it's on YouTube uh, it's about uh, an hour long and they're talking with uh, and this guy that's just talking a minute ago you heard him talk it's Greg Hunter there's uh, Jim Sinclair it's his show I believe and Bill Holter. Uh, interesting stuff. And I, I wish everybody could hear it. I wish everybody in America could hear this. Even the day after, you know, the election. Anytime. Every day from now on. People should hear this, and I'm doing my best to get it out to you. And I would recommend you go straight to YouTube and listen to the whole program yourself, unedited by me, because I'm editing it because I'm not going to play the whole damn minute, hour. And three minutes of this show for you on my show. It's already there. I mean, I don't. There's no reason to. But I am pointing out some of it, like for a review and to give you a hint about what's going on in uh, Jim Sinclair's program. All right. So uh, I'm going to listen to some more, and I'm going to just. You don't have to hear it. I'll listen to it myself. And if I think anything's important to you, that should be uh, spread around. I'm going to. I'll put it here, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm not going to play anymore. Like I said, it's an hour and three minutes long. It's on YouTube. It's uh, Jim Sinclair's Mind, Mindset, Mind, Mind, M-I-N-E-S-E-T, Mindset. Um, Go there. Look at it. Don't just, I'm not going to play everything for you on my radio show. I don't have time to do all that. I've already got two shows under under my belt, or three today, already. And... uh, I'm going to wrap this one up here in a couple minutes. So go there. It's an interesting talk, interesting conversation. And it's, uh, I think it's like a little bit pre, well, a few days before Donald Trump was actually uh, like that. So there's some speculations going on and so forth. So interesting. Reading, go listen to it. I'm a suggesting. I'm not ordering you anything. <laughs> you know, I'm not a dictator. You do whatever you want. But, uh, I think it's interesting. At least listen to the first, say, 30 minutes of it. <clears throat> Get some enlightenment on that. And, uh, if you want. If you don't want, uh, you know, do what you got to do. What the hell is it doing now? Raining? Snowing. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to wrap this one up at uh, 39 minutes and 30 seconds. We'll talk to you in a bit.